Imagine this. You're scrolling on your phone. The lights flicker once, then darkness. Only your phone stays on. No Wi-Fi, no electricity. Now look outside. No street lights, no glowing windows, no hum of air conditioners. Silence. Darkness. Everywhere. This isn't a scene from a post-apocalyptic movie. This almost happened on April 28th, 2025, when Spain and Portugal were plunged into chaos by a sudden large-scale blackout. And if you think that's bad, what if it wasn't just for an hour, but for days, weeks, or even months? On April 28th, 2025, the entire Iberian Peninsula, Spain and Portugal, experienced a sudden and massive power outage. Cities like Madrid, Barcelona, Libsyn, and Porto were hit. Even parts of France near the border felt it. Metro trains screeched to a stop, leaving passengers stranded underground. Airports switched to emergency power. Businesses shut their doors. For several hours, chaos unfolded. Traffic lights went dead, causing gridlock. Supermarkets couldn't process payments and hospitals had to rely on backup generators to keep life support machines running. When the power first goes out, most people's reaction follow a predictable pattern. Annoyance. A quick check of circuit breakers. Phones come out to see if others are experiencing the same thing. But here's where our dependency first shows itself. Within hours, those phones will begin to die. Without electricity, cell towers operate on backup generators but only for about 72 hours maximum. After that, telecommunications begin to collapse. The internet, gone. Cable news, gone. Radio stations, most will fail as their generators run dry. But communication is just the beginning. Refrigeration fails almost immediately. The FDA warns that refrigerated food becomes unsafe after just four hours without power. Frozen food lasts slightly longer, about 24 to 48 hours in a full, unopened freezer. After Hurricane Sandy hit New York in 2012, supermarkets were forced to discard millions of dollars worth of perishable goods. Meanwhile, gas stations can't pump fuel without electricity. During the 2003 blackout, lines at a few stations with generator power stretched for miles. Even those with generators face a critical problem. Electronic payment systems don't work and most people nowadays carry very little cash. Water systems begin to fail next. Modern water treatment and distribution rely heavily on electric pumps. Without them, water pressure drops dramatically. High-rise apartment buildings, which depend on electric pumps to move water upward, lose water service almost immediately. In lower-lying areas, taps might run for a day or two before pressure fails completely. As hours turn to days, our just-in-time economy reveals its fragility. Modern commerce depends on electronic transactions and computerized inventory systems. Without them, distribution grinds to a halt. Grocery stores, unable to process deliveries or sales electronically, close their doors. Those that remain open operate on a cash-only basis, with rapidly depleting inventories. Financial systems are particularly vulnerable. ATMs stop working credit cards become useless plastic. The $5 trillion daily flow of electronic banking transactions freezes. For a society where the average American carries less than $50 in cash, this creates an immediate liquidity crisis. Transportation networks begin to unravel. Traffic lights fail, causing gridlock in urban areas. Electric trains stop entirely. Subway systems go dark. Airports can operate on backup power, but only for critical functions. Most commercial flights are grounded indefinitely. Modern agriculture is heavily mechanized and dependent on electricity for irrigation, climate control, and milking operations. Dairy farms face immediate crises. Cows must be milked daily, but electric milking machines no longer function. During the 2003 Northeast blackout, Farmers reported dumping thousands of gallons of milk they couldn't keep cold or process. Perhaps most alarmingly, sewage treatment plants fail without electricity. After about 24 hours, backup generators run dry and untreated waste begins discharging directly into local waterways. During Hurricane Katrina, 
Failed sewage systems discharged millions of gallons of raw sewage into Lake Pontchartrain, creating a public health emergency. By the end of the first week, modern civilization has effectively been paused. The intricate web of systems we take for granted has come apart, strand by strand. If the outrage extends beyond a week, we enter territory few modern societies have experienced. Temporary solutions become inadequate. True adaptation begins. Communities that fare best are those with local resources and social cohesion. During prolonged blackouts in developing countries, researchers have observed that neighborhoods with strong social networks share resources more effectively and experience less conflict. Alternative energy sources become invaluable. Solar panels, provided they're not grid-tied, continue producing electricity. Hand-cranked radios become vital communication tools. But these are luxuries most don't possess. Water procurement becomes a primary daily activity. Without functioning taps, people collect rainwater or travel to natural sources. But without treatment, waterborne illnesses spread rapidly. Food distribution relies on ad hoc networks and local production. Urban areas, which typically maintain only a three-day supply of food, face severe shortages. Rural areas with local agriculture fare better, though modern farms without electricity struggle to harvest and distribute crops. Healthcare systems, operating on backup generators, provide life-sustaining care. Elective procedures stop. Medication refrigeration becomes impossible. Patients on home oxygen concentrators or dialysis machines must relocate to facilities with generator power, if space exists. If electricity remains unavailable for months, temporary adaptations give way to permanent transformations. The extended 2017 Puerto Rico blackout, which left some areas without power for nearly a year, provides our best example. Economic activity fundamentally changes. Local physical changes replace digital transactions. Barter systems emerge. Skills become currency. Those who can repair, build, grow, or heal find themselves in high demand. Agriculture shifts toward manual methods. Animal-powered farming, largely abandoned in industrial nations, returns in areas with livestock. Victory gardens, reminiscent of those planted during World Wars I and II, become common as people convert lawns into food production. Healthcare reverts to basic procedures and preventative measures. Medical knowledge remains, but technology-dependent treatments become impossible. Mortality rates from previously manageable conditions increase significantly. Childbirth, surgery, and treatment of infections become much more dangerous. Restoring an electrical grid after total failure isn't simply a matter of flipping a switch. It is a complex, sequential process that can take years, especially if physical infrastructure has been damaged. Modern power grids require electricity to generate electricity, a challenging paradox during restoration. Black Star generators, specifically designed to start without external power, become critical assets, but are few in number. The restoration process follows a strict hierarchy. First, power plants, then transmission lines, then distribution networks. Critical facilities like hospitals and water treatment plants receive priority. Residential areas often come last. If the outage resulted from physical damage to infrastructure, reconstruction timelines extend dramatically. Manufacturing replacement transformers, specialized switching equipment, and high-voltage transmission components can take months or years, especially without functioning factories. So what if the electricity went out? The answer is paradoxical. We would lose the world we've built, but we would not lose our humanity. Throughout history, humans have demonstrated remarkable adaptability. We lived without electricity for most of our existence as a species. What makes our current vulnerability unique is our complete dependence on systems we barely understand, combined with the loss of skills our ancestors took for granted. We've traded resilience for efficiency, knowledge for convenience. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.